Hey guys, it's Nate again. It's hot, it's really hot. Um, we're here at Printed Farms today looking at alternative, uh, more sustainable construction options. I'm in the construction industry and it seems like to me and many others that uh, construction is just, it's too monotonous. It's the same old, same old every day, block, wood, electrical, plumbing, monotonous, same, same, same. Having said that, just like the last 30 seconds, really, it was boring, right? That's how construction is every single day. And so what you see here is we have a, a, a construction printer. Uh, and basically what this does is it builds houses through uh, concrete. And so how it works is this machine here, right behind me, is a mixer. So basically what happens is the concrete bag drops into the mixer and then the water mixes with the concrete mix based on a few factors such as humidity, ambient temperature, and also how fast the actual nozzle is running. And then the pump then pumps it into this hose. The hose, the, the concrete moves down the hose and then up into the nozzle of the construction printer. At that point, the nozzle is moving along the x-axis, y-axis, and it kind of moves. And, and the actual nozzle head, which makes this particular printer unique, is the nozzle head turns as the machine turns, which is, uh, has a lot of benefits. All right, so as you can see, this is the machine. This is the, uh, the head of the machine. As it moves around, it uh, pours a consistent layer of concrete. It builds the actual walls, interior and exterior. It helps with sustainability. Uh, there's no wood involved, which as you know, at this point, everyone knows what's gone through the roof. This printer is moving about one-fifth the speed that it has the capability to do. But we do believe that before long that the machine will be able to uh, print full speed and you'll be able to build a house rapidly within hours. The other good thing about this machine is that it doesn't have, there's no labor laws with robotics. So you can run a machine 24-7. There's, there's not a lot of noise. So even if you're in a, a neighborhood, it's, it's, it's possible that you would be able to run this machine at night. Um, as long as it doesn't match those, those certain decibel levels. Most of this noise is coming from the actual pump itself, but the machine has almost no noise. And the interior walls and the exterior walls, you'll notice that there's um, space between the concrete. And what's that, what that is for is uh, so they can run conduit and plumbing material, electrical material, at low voltage, as well as all the other things that you need. Uh, in, a, in a standard home. So in theory, you could potentially uh, lower your costs in regards to your subs, electrical and plumbing installation costs on top of a um, more sustainable option and a lot cheaper interior exterior walls. This is Frederick right here. Frederick's one of the founders of Printed Farms. I'm the co-founder of Printed Farms. We printed around nine inch today and now we are evacuating the system, cleaning up the system. We're going to start printing a second round here where we're going to use flaps to show off the smooth walls. Probably we, one of the first companies in the world that open up for live printing and, and uh, live classes. The machine also can print uh, roofs. It can also do uh, stem walls if you like. It can do footers. Uh, it can do pretty much anything that you put your mind to, the machine can do. We're at very early in the permitting process, uh, but it seems as though they've been successful in other jurisdictions uh, throughout Florida, United States, and other countries in getting it permitted successfully. It's crucial through the printing process that you have a consistent mixture of concrete, uh, con consistent uh, uh, ambient temperature, as well as humidity and other things, because any of these variables can change the way the machine prints. It can change the sag of the concrete. Uh, there's a lot of things that can be uh, that can change based on uh, your environment. <laughs> Adrian, what? Adrian uh, you know, he had to go. He couldn't leave his station, so he, he peed in the mix. But what happened was it started flowing perfectly after that. So, so now they're doing they're doing some so tests. They they figured to out make sure. they figured out the pH balance right, and what right. he needs to drink Good. to get it right. Uh, I asked the developers uh, of of or the owners and the founders of the uh, printed farms here about what's the best environment to print. And they, they said that they believe Florida is the best environment uh, that they have right now to print. So they said that they would prefer a, a, a more humid environment than a drier environment. As the print, machine's printing, there's a uh, metal kind of wire mesh that they put in 
and that helps for the rigidity of the walls. They do that every foot. You can do it every 12, 18 inches. Uh, they do it every foot. Uh, overkill, they want to over engineer. They'd rather over engineer than under engineer. This concrete is much, much stronger than a typical standard block. We banged on some of this concrete with a hammer, and it's very obvious that block is, it's, it's not even close. In matter of fact, this concrete wall is significantly thicker than a traditional <laughs> block. And so the, the, the rating for insulation is, is much higher. So it, it's, it's much, it's benefits across the board. There's not a whole lot of reason to build traditionally once this technology uh, becomes more widely available. Uh, it seems as though the cost to build right now isn't quite where we are in regards to block. Uh, and um, because of COVID, it's kind of slowed down the process for R&D uh, because the parent company is in um, Europe. And so it's kind of hurt uh, training and other things. We're super excited about what, we're do what they're doing here at Printed Farms. We're super excited about the CoBod machine, the BOD2. BOD3 is coming out soon. There's tons of options for different applications. We really believe that uh, this is a, a, a real solution for the challenges that we have uh, in the world right now, in the building world with sustainability. So basically, we really believe that this technology is the future. We think it's one of the uh, more viable options. We think it's probably the closest right now uh, to being uh, the solution or one of the solutions for the future of building. So guys, please, uh, we come out here to do these videos. We do it for you guys. We're trying to educate. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll continue to put out content for you guys. Thanks a lot.